All right, let's take a look at question number three. When we're given a question where we do not have a diagram, it's always a good idea to pick out the important information and create a diagram of your own. We know that we have a flagpole, so I drew a flagpole, and it casts a shadow, so I drew the shadow down here. And we know that the shadow is 14.5 meters long. So I can go ahead and label that right here, 14.5 meters. I also know that I have a person that is 1.8 meters tall. So I'm going to write that right here on my diagram, 1.8 meters tall. And this person casts a shadow that's 2.5 meters long. So I can write that right there. Now I have two triangles. And if I can somehow show that these two triangles are similar, then I can use corresponding sides and scale factors to figure out the height of the flagpole. Are these two triangles similar? To make things a little easier, let's first label the triangles. Because the shadows are created by the sun somewhere up in this area over here, I know that the angle of elevation and the angle of depression caused by the sun with the objects create angles that are the same here and here and down here at the bottom and down here at the bottom. So I can feel safe in stating that triangle ABC is indeed similar to triangle DEF. And if those two triangles are similar, then that means that the corresponding sides are in a ratio or proportion to each other. So AB, which is actually the height of the flagpole, is proportional to DE. And sides that we know, we know the shadow for both, so let's use BC is also proportional to EF. And we're going to use the information we know about these two sides, or these four sides, to solve for the height of the flagpole, which we'll mark as x. So let's plug in what we know. We know that AB is x. We know that DE is 1.8. We also know that BC, the shadow of the flagpole, is 4.5. And the shadow of the person is 2.5. Now we can cross multiply and we're going to get 2.5x equals 1.8 times 14.5. Now all we need to do is punch some stuff in, in our calculators, isolate x, and solve. When we cross multiply we get 2.5x equals 1.8 times 14.5 which equals 26.1. Now if we divide both sides by 2.5 we'll be able to isolate x and solve for the height of the flagpole. So the flagpole is going to be 10.44 meters tall. 